before we get into today's show, question for you. Are you happy that Matthew Staff is returning to Detroit to face the Lions for Super Wild Card Weekend? Why for yes and, and for no? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get on for today's show here. We're going to be talking about the Detroit Lions facing teams in 2024. The schedule came out right there. Who is home and who is away? We don't know the dates, but we know home and away. We're going to get into the injury update on Sam Laporta and the rest of the Lions players. Lions versus Rams. We'll do a quick matchup. Ben Johnson and Aaron Glenn already getting requested for head coaching jobs. Will they get one? And Jared Goff's revenge on Sunday versus the L.A. Rams. In this game on Sunday, the Detroit Lions hosting the Rams. Lions are favored by three and a half points. And that's a good thing right there. The game is on Sunday Night Football NBC, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. The total over and under in this game is 51 and a half. Of course, the underdogs is the L.A. Rams. What a matchup. A lot of Lions fans wanted this matchup. Rams fans wanted this matchup. The NFL wanted this matchup. And it's going to be a hype game in a big way. You got Jared Goff facing against Sean McVay and Matthew Stafford returning to Ford Field. Will he get his first playoff game at Ford Field? Would Stafford do it there? As a Ram, we hope not. We want Jared Goff in the Detroit Lions to get that win. But I got a question for you right now in the comments. Who do you got winning this game? Do you got the Lions winning? Put D-E-T. Do you got the Rams winning? Put L-A Rams. If an ad is taking place, take advantage of that bad boy and answer the question. See what you guys think in the comment section. We got the schedule, at least the teams, for home and away. We don't know the dates, but we know who we're facing in 2024. And here it is, folks. Obviously, home against the Packers, Vikings, Bears. Home against the Rams. Could this be a revenge game for one of the teams? Because obviously, we face in the wild card. Seattle Seahawks coming here again to Ford Field. Will it be a revenge game for the Lions? Can we finally beat them? Jacksonville Jaguars returning to Detroit after 2000 and. 22 they came here hopefully we could put a beat down on them bills they beat us last year on thanksgiving can we get a revenge game we'll see tampa bay buccaneers we faced them this year but it was at tampa they come to detroit away of course packers vikings bears then we travel to arizona face the cardinals we travel to cj stroud and the houston texans really good team there we get the indianapolis colts away could that be with Anthony Richardson? We'll see. San Francisco 49ers. That's going to be a tough game right there. And, of course, we got to face the Dallas Cowboys in Jerry's world. My, oh, my. That's I don't like facing Dallas at Jerry's world because of the referees. Man. But you want to know what's good? Is Today's show is sponsored by Prize Picks, and I love Prize Picks. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS. They'll match your deposit, match up to $100. And if you want to spice up your NFL Sunday, get started with Prize Picks right now. Prize Picks is a skill-based, real-money daily fantasy sports game. And if you're looking to have more fun on game day, look no further than Prize Picks. You want to play alongside some Prize Picks favorite players like rapper Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz? You can now find community plays in the Promos tab to view entries from some of the biggest names in the Prize Picks community each week. Prize Picks even offers a reboot policy so that your players stay in play, even if one of your players gets injured. For football and basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second half, that player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. For the national championship game, I got Michael Penix getting less than 300 yards. And J.J. McCarthy getting more than 203.5. So get started with prize picks right now. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS, for deposit matchup to $100. Why is it code CLNS? Because that's our ad agency partner. Use code CLNS. It's real easy. Four letters to get $100 match when you sign up. So download the app today. The link will be in the description and comment section of this video. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS. Let's jump into a quick injury update here. Sam Laporta's got a bruised knees and hyperextension. Good that it's probably not going to be 
surgery or anything like that. This could be a situation where he has to rest a week or two or three. So it's a week-to-week thing per Ian Rappaport expected to miss sometimes. We'll get a full update today at 2 p.m., so maybe we'll know by the time you're watching this. But that's good news. Yeah, he's probably going to miss Sunday's game. But, man, at least it's not something that's going to be a long-term issue. St. Brown, he's good to go. Yeah, he's got, I'm sure he's bruised and hurting, but he played the rest of the game. Brian Branch, good to go as well. Should be in this game. We don't know an update on James Houston yet. Hopefully, he returns for the Detroit Lions facing L.A. Rams because we're going to need him for sure. Question for you. Are you concerned about Laporta's injury? Why for yes and for no? Short-term, yes. Long-term, nope. I'm excited or happy that it was not something crazy, and that's my take on this right now. He's hurt. It sucks. He's probably not going to be there for the game, but when it comes to Laporta, it's good that it's not going to be something extremely long-term, something, you know, it's going to be, uh, you got to worry about next year. Where it doesn't look like that's the case. And that's great news for Sam Laporta for the long term, the macro view. But for the upcoming game, it does suck. And I know a lot of people are ripping Dan Campbell for Sam Laporta. I'm not going to rip him for Sam Laporta. Now, at the end of the game, you could say, like, you should arrest the starters. But, you know, injuries do happen. Hopefully, he's good to go for the future of this football team. According to NFL Network's Tom Pelissaro, the commanders have already requested an interview for both Detroit Lions coordinators Ben Johnson and Aaron Glenn. Yes, they've been requested. And it was only a matter of time. And I tell you what, watch the commanders. Commanders, they're not wasting any time at all for Ben Johnson and AG, for the Lions coordinators here. Now, personally, I don't think that Ben Johnson would take this job. I think he'll have an opportunity to kind of do the pick of the litter. He'll be able to kind of do whatever job he wants to do. That's just my personal opinion. Now, he could absolutely take the job because you look at the Washington's commanders. They got the second pick in the draft, and they can go ahead and draft the quarterback of the future, or they can trade up to number one to get a quarterback that they want. So that is appealing for any person is you'll probably get the quarterback that you covet but Washington is a disaster they got a lot of issues going on there so I just don't think that he could do it what about Aaron Glenn now Aaron Glenn I don't think will have the same amount of head coping head coaching job opportunities as Ben Johnson but if he was offered this job I would say absolutely take it for Aaron Glenn again he's not going to be coveted I think as much as Ben Johnson so You take what you get when you're in that position. If Aaron Glenn does get a head coaching job, the Detroit Lions will get two third-round draft picks, compensatory draft picks, because he is a minority, so that's something that you get to to watch for. And could it be a situation where Lions get Ron Rivera's DC? I don't know. That could be a situation because it would be kind of switching around. But I got a question for you. Do you think that Ben Johnson will get a head coaching job? Why for yes and end for no? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We're going to continue on here and talk about Jared Goff's revenge game Sunday. They keep saying the Stafford Bowl, Stafford turn, Stafford, Stafford, Stafford. What about, what about Jared Goff's revenge game? S- Jared Goff's got better numbers than Matthew Stafford, by the way. Jared Goff is killing it when it comes to the stats here uh, for his regular season stats. He has 4,575 passing yards, second in the NFL. High quarterback rating of 97.9. 30 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. Phenomenal 2023 NFL season for Jared Goff. Higher than the stats of Matthew Stafford. They're all higher than his, except for the interception. Stafford's got 11. Why do I call this a Jared Goff revenge game? Goff was the one traded away he didn't want to be traded. He didn't even know he's going to get to it. He didn't. He, he was on a good team, the LA Rams at the time. Goff went to the bad team. Stafford wanted to be traded, folks. He requested it. Goff didn't. Stafford did. 
Goff was written off by the media. He was written off by Lions fans, a lot of them at the time. He was written off by L.A. Rams fans. Sean McVay written him off. He was a has-been when he got traded. He, they, they literally compare. Well, he, the reason that they, they did the trade, they got an extra first-round pick is because Jared Goff was with them, and they just had to get rid of Jared Goff. <laughs> McVay ripped Jared Goff. Jared Goff, it's his revenge game. Stafford went to the good team. Stafford requested to go to this team. He got this team. Stafford got what he wanted to get. Jared Goff got what he didn't want to get. This is not Stafford revenge game. This is Jared Goff revenge game. Jared Goff needs to have the best game of his career on Sunday. He does. And I think he's going to play out of his mind. And I really hope for Jared Goff and for Lions fans we win this game. Because it would put an end to an era of Goff being the trash quarterback and all this. And, you know, we've heard it all. Who won the trade? I th- honestly, I think both teams won the trade. But that stuff will end if Jared Goff wins this game on Sunday. It will come to an end. And that's something that we would love. Folks, we're dropping videos every single day. Well, Michigan game tonight. We're going to be live for it. Why not? We're going to do a watch party here on this channel. We're going to be live for the One Pride podcast on Thursday. And if you already know, Lions uh, hosting the Rams for the playoff. Crazy, crazy. So, Subscribe, hit that notification bell for the latest Lions news and rumors.